you've seen us talk a lot and I have learned so much from her, Jennifer Owens, and she'll be here in just a few moments. Stick around. Welcome back to Surviving Divorce at 3 a.m. Up ahead, I have Jennifer Owens. Now, she has brought so much peace into my life, and I wanted her to share with you today just a neat tool that she uses, as well as um, some ideas. This morning, we have talked a lot about how we go through the grieving process after divorce and we, we actually have to give ourselves the space to do that and allow our emotions to do what they're gonna do. But part of that grieving process is dealing with the blow to our own self-esteem. 
because the person who had said they would be with us forever isn't. And that hurts and that makes us question ourselves. And so Jennifer is going to talk to us about how to help with that. Now, if you're just joining us, we have a whole day ahead. And today we have counselors and we have pastors, we have attorney and financial advisor, different people to talk about different topics. So this is a a whole day of building your self-esteem, but it's been a really helpful morning so far. If you are struggling today, we want you to stick around, but if you're having a crisis and you feel like there's just not any point to living, then please go ahead in the U.S., call 988 and get help with this moment of crisis. And if you're outside the U.S., then you can go to findahelpline.com forward slash I forward slash I-A-S-P. That stands for um, International Association for Suicide Prevention. So findahelpline.com forward slash I forward slash I-A-S-P. Make sure that you get the help you need to keep waking up, okay? We want you to stick around. God made you because he wants a you in the world. You matter and stick around and find out why. So uh, if you need prayer or you want to know more about this group study so that you can share it with your community or you want your own copy of the devotional book, the 3 a.m. book, When Divorce Keeps You Up All Night, then let me know. We're starting to take pre-orders today for the study and the book that will come out in February of 2024. All right, I'm going to bring Jennifer up. Here she comes. Jennifer! Oh, I wish you were right here so I could hug you. Um, <laughs> hey! Hi. Thank How you are for you? being here. I yeah, am wonderful. glad to be here. Glad to be here to encourage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Jennifer, I recently saw you talking to people about your, you know, the experiences that you had, where you were, and when you learn to love yourself, when you learn, you know, you've got a, a new name and through the years you've made time to be with yourself and watching you glow, telling the story, just made me realize you're like your own best friend, which is really neat. I think we all could use ourselves as a best friend instead of a critic or a, you know, somebody we don't want to have to spend time alone with, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, we have to learn to be our best friends, quite honestly. So, yeah, yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> Tell us about that. How does that happen? Learning how to be your best friend. Yeah. Well, you have to learn how to affirm yourself and uh, to encourage yourself in the process. And I think um, that's one thing, you know, just being able to have context um, and be able to have the frame of mind, especially in divorce, when, um, you know, that uh, how you how you deal with something has everything to do with how you view yourself as you're going through it. And I think that's what was pivotal for me when I was going through divorce. Um, I had to learn how to not call myself a divorcee. <laughs> um, I, I framed it as a release. Um, and releases are good. Re releases are not bad things. They're things that sometimes help us to grow, give us freedom, uh, give us the ability uh, to see ourselves differently and have perspective. So, so context and how you how you view things and what you call them, what you name them, is very important. Um, and I decided since I was with God in this process, it was going to be a journey where He was releasing me. He wasn't like I really love the previous um, conversation you had just about how the Lord doesn't condemn us. You know, He really doesn't. Even when we make mistakes, I found this beautiful scripture today, and I won't talk too much, but. It said, you, I love it. Psalm 96 and 36, it says, you are my beautiful strength. You never made a mistake with me, God. And I just, mm. that's the passion translation. 
I like the passion translation sometimes. It does a really good job. Mm -hmm. So release, you know, and that's not a dishonest statement, right? You, no. when we get divorced, <laughs> we no longer are um, committed to having to make dinner for this person or show up for this person or plan our finances with this person, right? <laughs> Right. Now, this isn't me and everybody should just go off and get divorced and they're free, right? But yes. at the same time, we don't have to continuously attach a label on ourselves, divorcee or divorced or, you know, this broken whatever, right? You're right. You can simply choose an aspect to focus on. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't tie you to looking back at the past constantly, but lets you look forward. Because you, you are in this moment. You're no longer in that moment. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so I am released. I am moving forward. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Um, you know, that that's kind of what sustained me, I think. Um, just being able to, to, when I was talking to people and I was dealing with things, just being able to say, you know what, I just feel like there's a release here. Um, this is a good thing. So. Yeah. And so um, that's one way, you know, looking at different terminology, you know, basically finding the aspect that helps you look forward. Mm -hmm. And then you also talked about, you put little affirmations everywhere for yourself, oh, yeah. didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's neat. Why? Well, Sometimes, like I said, when you're going through hard times, um, um, you know, it, it's just really hard to, to gather perspective. So I think sometimes we have to realize that, um, you know, David encouraged himself in the Lord. <laughs> That's what scripture said to me. <laughs> so I had, to out how to do that. I had to figure out how to encourage myself in the Lord. Um, and sometimes it was just really just finding affirmative scriptures or sayings even um and just mm -hmm. posting them all around my house instead of really turning the tv on i put them all over the tv i put them up in my mirror when i woke up in the morning i mean that's how i've gotten places that's how i've had good success is by affirming myself and putting those sayings out and saying them out loud to myself um because it puts me in remembrance of what god has called me and i'd rather go by what god called me than any other name. Ah, so true. So yeah. true. So in addition to making, you know, taking scripture and putting it around your house, I know for me, <coughs> there have been certain scriptures I've wanted mm -hmm. to use, like to really learn and really internalize. And I end up using them as like, <clears throat> excuse me yes passwords on my computer and things like that mm -hmm. but you showed me a new tool hold on oh yeah the, my future me yeah 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 a new tool to actually go further and write myself letters mm -hmm. to encourage yeah. myself because um sometimes you're dealing not only with the negativity of the spouse who left, yeah. maybe you're going through the divorce process and you have to see them in court and things like that, or they're trying to, to keep putting you down and keep controlling you. You might also be dealing with the kids who right. don't understand what's going on and they're acting up or the parents, your parents who are disappointed in you or, you know, some people have even hurt, gotten flack from other friends. Mm -hmm. And so being your own friend, writing yourself letters that remind you of where you're going mm -hmm. and remind you that you can make it, that you are strong yes. is super helpful. Now, how do you do that? There is a neat tool that you showed me recently mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, well, you have to protect your esteem. And I think when once you have that perspective and you have a grass on it, you have to write it somewhere and you have to save it because you have to go back and reflect on it. Um, and I like um, keeping a diary. I've journaled in my life for, wow, at least 80% of my life. 
Um, I started at the age of nine um, and now I'm 56 almost. <laughs> um, but um, I think that um, using Future Me is a, is a very good tool um, because it can show you how you've grown over perspective. I think it's futureme.org. Um, and we're not doing a promotion by them, but you know, Hey, if they want to pay us, that's cool. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, future me, um, allows you to do like a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, even. Um, and I like being able to see my little post come back to me in an email and say, I get really excited. Um, so it'll go, you have an email, you know, and I go back, oh my God, what was I thinking back then, you know? Um, but I love to be encouraged and I've even start dressing it a little differently, putting the scripture in there, talk, you know, putting my little thing that I'm struggling with, um, where I want to see myself in a year from now and being able to kind of project and put goals out and be able to say what I'm looking for when it shows up again. So I really like that. And you can send it to a friend. You can send it to someone else who's kind of sharing that vision or that prayer with you. I just really like it. And it's a good tool to use to affirm yourself and protect that esteem. That is so cool. So again, we are not selling this app. We are not affiliated with this app. Um, Maybe one of these days, but at the moment, Future Me is just a neat tool that Jennifer showed me Mm. that where you can send, you can write letters to yourself at any point in the future. It can be, you know, a letter for next week when you know you're going to be having to go back to court or a letter for a few days from now when you know it's going to be Monday and you're going to be at work and it might be hard to concentrate and you just want to encourage yourself. You can write letters to yourself at future times just saying, hey, I was thinking about you and you're going to make it through this and you're beautiful. Just smile at people. You know, don't forget to give yourself a moment. And and like Jennifer said, those goals, hey, here's where I'd like to see myself. Are you there yet? (laughs) You know, (laughs) reminding ourselves to stay on track with what we really care about. Yeah. Have you noticed a change? Like, like, have you ever written a letter to yourself and then later gone, boy, I wanted that, but now I want something completely different or, you know, have any moments like that? Um, I don't know if I do that so much as, um, I just try to be really present in my notes, um, and tell Mm -hmm. the truth. I think that's why I journal because, um, you know, having been a therapist in my past, I, I just know how important it is to be honest with yourself. And so, yeah, I don't want to paint a picture like divorce is this pretty thing. You just get over and ta-da, you're new again. It doesn't happen that way. Um, It hurt like hell when I got divorced. Um, It really did. In fact, I grieved for about three days. And I I, I just want to say, you know, that whole thing about don't be afraid to lament. Don't be afraid um, to sorrow because if you honor God in your sorrow, I mean, God knows how to give you Um, put you on the pedestal again to a place where you'll have a strong foundation. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think that that's important to remember and to note um, that it's okay to grieve. It's okay to, you know, put things out there, um, be honest with yourself and even talk to a friend and, you know, share with somebody how you're dealing with that pain right in the moment. I don't know if that answered your question. (laughs) Well, actually it made me think of something else Mm -hmm. in our book option ocean navigating the sea of possibility Mm -hmm. you wrote a couple of chapters about psalmistry yeah about literally taking a format you know similar to a psalm and writing out your prayer your emotions because you know if you've read the psalms the psalms are tumultuous right (laughs) they are full of david they're like david's journal Mm -hmm. and so you're talking about lament Mm-hmm. And that's another way that we can give ourselves space and help ourselves through this time, be a good friend to ourselves, is to sit there with your journal and write your own psalm or write your own lament of, you know, how you're feeling. Use mm-hmm. imagery, use use words that, you know, that are evocative of Ooh. what you're going through. But try not to lie, right? Try not to um, say I am worthless or, you know, life is hopeless, or, you know, whatever yeah. those things, 
don't agree with what the devil mm -hmm. would say, right? Mm -hmm. um, just express honestly what you're going through and yeah. ask God for help. It's so important to not lose sight of your worth. Um, I yeah. think that divorce can beat you up so bad, you kind of forget who you are. And um, mm -hmm. you really do need to protect your worth as well. Don't lose sight of it. So that's why I spent a lot of time building it up. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jennifer, thank you. This has been such a blessing. And it's always good to have always you around. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you. In a moment, we're going to have Jennifer's husband. And he is going to talk to us. So I'll let Jennifer go. And we'll be back in a few. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, she is wonderful. We're going to put her information in the chat. And again, at the end of the day, you'll see um, a deck of everybody's information. So if you need counseling or you need encouragement, you have a wealth of people you can reach out to. I'll be back in a few.